Hello, um, it's been a while since we've been out. Obviously, you can't use the motorhome at the moment because of COVID 19. So, we thought we'd show you some local areas around where we live. Um, I mean, the channel is Family Adventures, and we're just getting out and about to see what's around. Um, we are lucky enough to live on the edges of the Peak District, and we know we've not done a video for a while, so hopefully, you'll enjoy. All right, so we set off from the High Peak Junction. Um, we've walked up through Bow Woods, um, lots of interesting things, a nice little house up there. Right, so we're going to keep following the path up. Um, apparently this path takes us up towards Ryber and Ryber Castle. So we'll see if we can make our way up there and find it. It should be quite a big thing, so we shouldn't be able to miss it, but this is us. I suppose the great thing about springtime as well is it all the nature coming to life and the baby lambs and ellie constantly taking pictures of everything hello how's lockdown been for you ellie horrible yeah it's been a bit boring she's been furloughed Unfortunately, I have to carry on as normal. Well, I think caravan and motoring is start going to become really busy in the future. Holidays abroad are going to be a little thing of the past. As you walk down the trail in the distance, you can just make out Ryber Castle. Might be a bit far to walk to, but we'll give it a go. That was a nice walk up here, but this is about as close as you can get to it because it's all completely private. So, unfortunately, this is as far as we can get to the castle. Well, there's Ryber Castle, and we're just heading back down towards home. And cable carts are in the distance, and if you listen very carefully, there's live music coming from Matlock. So, this might be worth investigating because I didn't think anything was open due to COVID 19. So there's the cable carts. Well, whatever it is, it's happening next Friday. Huh? Ellie, are you confused? Yeah. Right, we've just come down from the path there, out of the woods. Obviously, Heights of Adrian aren't running at the moment. Um, this is, you cut through over the river back into Matlock Bath down here. Quite a nice little walk, actually. It's been a, a day of surprises. We didn't think anything would be open, and yet to hear a band playing in Matlock was uh, not what we was expecting. The music seems to have gone quiet now, but we're going to investigate and have a look. It's hard to think, only a month or so ago, Matlock was hit by severe flooding. It was that high. You can see debris is still up in the trees on the river. To now being beautiful, but how quiet it is. This is as you go into Matlock Bath. On a Sunday, it is never normally this quiet. It's quite eerie. Right, there's one of the main car parks in Matlock, but quite scarily, it is five to five on a Sunday. Quite a pleasant day, it's not rained. It's probably about the 3rd of May, I think. And it is like a ghost town. So I'm not sure where the music's been coming from, or if anything at all is gonna be open. I know yesterday as we drove through, one of the chip shops was open doing takeaway only. But we're not far from home now, so we'll see what else we can and can't find. 
Right, now we've just had chips at Matlock. Walking by the fish pond pub. Heading back out of Matlock. Unfortunately the pub's closed and we've not managed to find out where we heard the music from. Right, as we've just left the main road out of Matlock. We're going to take this way back home, past Cromford Mill, and a beautiful hotel up there. This will take us down, down to the canal. Right, we've stumbled across a bit where there's lots of um, carving gone off, very creatively. I'd love to be able to use a chainsaw that well to create that sort, this sort of uh, sculptures. All across the Peak Districts around this area near the Matlock area where we are in Cromford, there seems to be a lot of this uh, carving around at the moment. Very beautiful. And at this rate, we're never going to get home. Ellie, at some point do you think we should carry on walking home? No. Come on. <laughs> We've been out slightly longer than we expected. Oh well. Wow. <laughs> I suppose uh, it's more than an hour's exercise, but if you're allowed to go to B&Q and queue up for two hours to go and buy some plants, yeah. this, you know, amongst lots of other people, we're in the countryside with not really many other people around. Let's follow the Cromford Canal back down to the High Peak Junction then. I keep saying this, anticipating we'll, we'll eventually get home. We've got to explain to the wife how we're uh, not hungry for tea. Still got a good excuse to come up for that one yet. Right, while we're down at Cromford, I just thought I'd just explain is a good spot for staying with your motorhome car park just over the wall there so it's the second entrance after the um, mill car park I think it's the mill is it L? yep second entrance you can stay in your motor home overnight uh, for a small charge and then in the daytime you've got public toilets over there quite handy for getting into Matlock and the local area without paying extortionate campsite fees Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully we'll see you soon on our next adventure.